how are you? Welcome to Road Odyssey. I am Burke. Hope y'all are having a nice day. Please subscribe down below. Thank you very much. And this video is nothing more than my wife and I hopped into the C8 Corvette for a nice weekend drive. Went uh, along the Talamina Highway or Byway. Uh, it's a scenic drive uh, between Oklahoma and Arkansas, about midway. And some other uh, highways that not so many people know about. So this is all a fall foliage video, just out driving around. So just thought I'd share it with you. So here we go. So here we are starting off with the map again. And we began our trip in Texas. And you can see the Google time mark of 6 hours, 51 minutes. This was definitely an eight-hour drive or more if I actually drove out our entire route. But this will give you an idea how we went from Texas, crossed the border, crossed the Red River, went into Idabel. In Idabel, we stop at the Gasquatch because they have a car collection there. It's pretty cool. And we head up 259 through Broken Bow, which I really dislike going up through that area. It's very congested, very touristy and all that. Uh, but once you get through that and continue getting north of there, it's pretty nice. I, I really like it. And we have kind of the back road. We get off 259 and then cut over to the northwest to 271, just south of Tallahena, and get on 271, go to Tallahena, take a break there, and then in this case, we cut across uh, 1 and 88, which is primarily the scenic byway. So drove that, went down into Mena, Arkansas, from Mena, typical road 71, it's uh, nothing to write home about. It's just a decent little road. And went down to Cove. And at Cove, that is one of the places where we tend to cut across between Arkansas and Oklahoma. There's at least three, four, five roads all up and down the border that are really pretty. And this is just one of them. So we just cut across from Cove back over into Oklahoma and shot back, back down 259 and uh, got our way home. So this, for the C8 Corvette, it was a very long drive. And I actually overheated the transmission for a few seconds. It relieved itself somehow very quickly. So anyway, nice long trip. Now, I missed a lot of videotaping that I could have done. I missed uh, a group of Porsches and a Ventador. Um, just lots of really cool cars, neat car groups, four-wheeler car groups. I mean, I missed a lot of stuff, but I'll try to get in some interesting things here for you. Also, being fall, it's actually late fall, and so the foliage wasn't quite as great. The video didn't pick it up the way I was hoping it would. It was pretty nice. Um, all the way through Oklahoma, the foliage was pretty decent still. And on the Talamina Byway, that was pretty nice, except when you get into Arkansas, it just, it was nothing. So anyway, that was that. I believe this was the most interesting thing that we saw on the whole trip. So outside of Tallahena, just a few miles, is where you connect to the scenic byway. Again, I'm going to sit back and just let the videotape run and play a little music for you.
we are crossing from the Oklahoma portion of the scenic byway into the Arkansas portion where it's just night and day. Almost suddenly we lose all the leaves. It's like a barren land. It is so strikingly different. It's still a very nice drive, but very different. It was also at this point when we got into Arkansas that we could actually cruise which is a lead-in to what's coming up next. This is a little segment of my video I call just very slow cars. So when we got onto this scenic byway, everybody was out there. It was, relatively speaking, it was mobbed. And so there was a lot of elderly people and just a lot of oglers that just couldn't go over... 30 miles an hour hardly. It it was very painful to try to get along this thing. So, but that's the way it goes, I guess. Now, going very slow isn't a bad thing. You can really see the landscape. Well, actually, you can't because there's trees everywhere. You can see all the wildlife. Well, no. Only once out of all the times I've driven this road have I seen any deer. Um, uh, I don't know why you want to drive so slow, but it's honestly not a terrible thing. It is a fun and relaxing drive, and that's what we're there for, is just to enjoy the scenery that you can see and relax. For me... You know, 30 miles an hour is personally a little bit slow. I would have preferred to have cruised about 40 on this thing. Uh, 30 was just really slow to me. As you can see from these next clips, running in, you know, the 20s and even down in the teens, I really think that's a bit excessive for going slow. It's nice to enjoy the scenery. It really is. I just think that toddling along this slow is a bit excessive. How do you feel about driving the mountain roads? Do you enjoy driving them slowly, quickly, or both? Do you just like to, you know, run by your mood? What do you think? You can certainly see the nice foliage from my dash cam when we drove slower. This section I call people on the side of the road. Now, they park their cars along the side of the road to get photographs most often. But this really congested everything just that much more. When they have scenic turnoffs where they can have these little overlooks and things like that where they can get plenty of good photographs. So why they had to sit in the middle of the road and just cause a problem, uh, you know, that's people. Aside from the beautiful scenery, even though it was late in the fall, this section is my favorite, the cool cars of the day. I saw more Corvettes than anything. Next up were Porsches, primarily the Boxer, and then finally, a Lamborghini Aventador. This, I thought, was neat getting a picture of the sun over a bridge in Paris, Texas. It just is a nice finish to the video. And then from there, it's just time for me to walk off this thing and move on. All right. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe down below. That I'll give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like driving around just north of where we live. And we had a great time. So anyway, with that, relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye.